we're building the next car company uh, for, for the new millennium. The Roadster is our entrance into the marketplace. We wanted to make something uh, sexy, provocative, new. This is the most efficient production vehicle in the world and it is also uh, competitive with the most exotic sports cars in the world. Well, the Tesla Roadster was created with three things in mind. Great design, high performance, and great efficiency. Performance characteristics on the vehicle are second to very few production cars in the world. It accelerates faster than uh, most Ferraris, Porsche 911 Turbo, Lamborghini even, zero to 60 in 3.9 seconds. It actually gets the equivalent of 135 miles to the gallon. We were able to achieve all, all three goals, which is basically create an ultra high performance sports car that's twice as efficient as a Toyota Prius. Internal combustion engines run at between 15 to 22% efficiency. The Roadster runs at 92% efficiency. So that means that 92% of the energy being used in the vehicle actually makes it go forward. You'll notice here that uh, this is carbon fiber. In fact, the whole body, minus the bumpers, is, is carbon fiber. Uh, it's an a extruded aluminum uh, frame, and, but everything else on the car is carbon. The chemical composition of the tires are unique in that we needed low rolling resistance moving forward, but we needed high traction for cornering. So Yokohama developed a unique tire for the Roadster that had both of those properties. Very low forward rolling resistance and very sticky lateral resistance. This right here is the charge port door. This is the charge port. You'll see uh, the illuminated uh, electric connector. Um, and this is actually disconnected from the car, so none of, none of this is live until that connection takes place. So this right here is the, the high-powered connector. This is the standardized uh, plug that plugs into the vehicle. So all you do is plug, twist, push the button. There it is. And now that pulsating yellow means the vehicle is charging. When the car is fully charged, that light turns green and the charging stops on its own. So this houses the 6,831 lithium ion cells. You'll see uh, some radiator fluid here. This is actually, um, the battery box is climate controlled. So whether the car is off or on, um, that climate control uh, keeps the batteries at an even temperature, which extends their life significantly. Um, what you're looking at right here is the brains behind the machine. It's the power electronics module. We use laptop batteries for a few reasons. By using a standardized size, it ensures that Tesla is able to get the latest and greatest technologies in our batteries. As that technology increases, it's a standard size, so we can just swap them out. The travel charger, which is really meant to use uh, charging overnight, like if you were on a road trip with the Roadster, then you're charging the car easily overnight. But with the high-powered connector, the car charges in three and a half hours. So everything in the front of the vehicle is, uh, here is your radiator, uh, which, which is a heat exchanger. So this pulls double duty. This both is the air conditioner, it cools the cabin, and it also cools the batteries. So it has, it's a dual function system. Now this right here, which looks a lot like a toaster oven, is a toaster oven. It's uh, electric heating elements that heat both the cabin and the batteries. So if you're in a cold weather climate, that will kick on and keep the batteries at an even temperature. And when you turn your heat on in the car, obviously it'll keep you warm as well. The idea behind Tesla is not to only provide electric cars for the wealthy. The idea behind Tesla is to, if you can afford a new car, we want you to be able to afford a Tesla. The research and development behind the car is obviously very expensive, so we have to start at a high place in the, in the market. Um, but as the company develops, our third vehicle uh, will be in the $30,000 price range, which, you know, if you're buying a new car, essentially that's the, the price of entry. At Tesla, we didn't want to just redefine uh, our car company and redefine what what our transportation would be. We also wanted to redefine how vehicles would be distributed, 
purchased and serviced. By selling directly from Tesla Motors directly to consumers, what we're able to do is create a much better uh, interface with our customers, create a much better uh, customer experience, and also customer service. Um, because electric motors only have one moving part as compared to the internal combustions 200 plus, the car only needs to be serviced once a year. As you can see, in th that the shop flows directly into the showroom, it has no ventilation, doesn't need separate ventilation, and there's a big window that runs uh, all the way across our shop, so, so people walking on the street or driving by can actually see the vehicles being worked on. We wanted to really change it from a dark, dingy, greasy, smelly place to a clean, friendly environment. Most of the car companies, uh, their marketing, their research and development, uh, whether it's Honda, Nissan, Toyota, BMW, Mini, they've all been in here. Uh, they've all been, been um, in here interested in what we're doing, not only on the automotive side, but also on the service side. Somebody has to be the trailblazer, um, and because the behemoths are, are so large, uh, they're less mobile. And everything that I've heard in talking with the other car companies is that they're legitimately excited and interested to see how we move forward because ultimately what we're doing is opening up a new market for everybody else.